Hi, Facebook. How are you? I am Patrice Wilson. How are you this afternoon? So as promised, I am bringing you this video to share with you the word of the Lord for this season. So the word of the Lord for this season is, it's time to rebuild. Again, let me repeat that. It's time to rebuild. So some of you may remember last year I did a video um, and at that time, the word of the Lord was it was time to repent. Um, the church was full of wickedness. God was upset with some things that was going on in the house of God. So he allowed some things to happen um, for us to go ahead and repent. Um, so that happened and God was upset about that. And he asked the church to repent at that time. Everybody didn't, so God gave me a second word that they still have not repented. So move fast forward. So God shared with me a few weeks ago um, about the word that's now. It's time to reveal. And this is coming from the book of Zechariah. So I'm going to go through some passages to let you know what he's saying now for the church. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read. Zechariah 1, 12 through 17, just to give you a backdrop of what God has shared with me. So let's go to the word of the Lord, Zechariah 1, 12 through 17. Then the angel of the Lord answered and said, O Lord of hosts, how long will you not have mercy on Jerusalem and on the cities of Judah against which you were angry these 70 years? And the Lord answered the angel who talked to me with good and comforting words. So the angel who spoke with me said to me, Proclaim, saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, I am zealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with great zeal. I am exceedingly angry with the nations at ease, for I was a little angry, and they helped, but with evil intent. Therefore, says the Lord, I am returning to Jerusalem with mercy. My house shall be built in it, and thus says the Lord of hosts, a surveyor's line shall be stretched out over Jerusalem. Again proclaim, saying, thus said the Lord of hosts, my city shall again spread out through prosperity. The Lord will again comfort Zion and will again choose Jerusalem. So what's going on here? So there was an angel of the Lord, and he asked God, God, how long are you going to be upset with the people of God? It's been 70 years, and you still upset? So God said, okay, I get it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cause my people to rise again. I'm going to call them to prosper again. Maybe it is time to not be angry and upset with them. So let me give you a backdrop of what was going on. So I did my video last year and God led me to the book of Jeremiah where the church was called to repent because same as today's time, it was wickedness going on and God was showing me in the book of Jeremiah, this is what's going on today. There's wickedness in the church. I'm not pleased and I need the people of God to repent. Okay, so that's where we are. Now, a few weeks ago, God brought me to the book of Zechariah to show me where we are. So what happened was the ancestors of the people of God in Zechariah were the ones they was referring to in the book of Jeremiah. So they had died off. They didn't repent. They were stiff-necked. So they had died off. The prophets had died off. Now fast forward, the, the remnant, the remnant that God was speaking to, the remnant was coming back. So they were coming back out of captivity. God was trying to encourage them. So God had said, okay, let me send Jeremiah to encourage them to let them know, okay, it's time for y'all to repent. So fast forward to Zechariah chapter one. God is asking the remnant, the ones who's coming out of captivity, they're coming out of Babylon. The Babylonians had held them captive. They had burned the temple down. So now they're back from captivity. And God is saying to the remnant that survived, okay, y'all survived this captivity. The first order of business, I need y'all to repent. Your ancestors didn't repent when the prophets talked to them. They were stiff-necked. So I need you to be different. What I need y'all to do since y'all survived, First order of repent. Um, uh, first order of business is repent. So here we are in Zechariah one. God is asking that remnant who survived, I need you to repent. After he asked them to repent, 
The next thing he told Zechariah to tell them was, okay, if y'all going to be my people, I'm going to be your God. The next thing I need you to do is rebuild the temple. Because remember, I told you the Babylonians had destroyed. So their first order of business, God had shared with them, I need you to rebuild my temple. So after they're, they're, they've done the repentance, it's time to rebuild. So that's where we are right now with the body of Christ. We've gone through the Babylonian stage. We've gone through COVID. We've gone through some other things. Now it's time for the remnant who did repent to go ahead and realign with God so we can get going on with God's business. So this is where we are now. So you may be asking, what, what are we supposed to be rebuilding? And I'm glad you asked. So let's talk about it. Some things that you can be rebuilding that, you know, God shared with me is your families. What is going on with your families? How is your, your family's relationship? You know, husbands, are you the priest of your home? Are you praying? Are you keeping your household together? So some of those things that you can do is rebuild your family. How is your children's relationship with God? So even though you have a relationship, so does your, your children. They need a relationship, your husband. Everybody in the household needs to build their relationship, the, the family, the whole entire family structure. Everybody needs to be aligned with what God is saying now. So the first thing you can rebuild is your family. The second thing that you can rebuild is your ministry. What is God telling you about your ministry? What are some things that you need to change? What are some things that you um, adopted out of your flesh? What things came forth out of your flesh? Are you, are you trying to impress people with your preaching? Did you get off track? Did you forget about the souls that God called you to? Did you forget about the mission and the purpose that God called your ministry for? So these are some things that you need to be thinking about to realign with what God is saying. So rebuild your family, rebuild your ministry, you know, get in the word and align, make sure it's aligned with what God is saying. Next thing is relationship. If you've gotten off track, if you've gotten upset with God or some things um, that you just got off track, rebuild that relationship with God. We're in a season of rebuilding and, and alignment. So everything that you are doing or have done that got off track, it's time to rebuild that. Rebuild your family. Rebuild your home. Rebuild the, rebuild the family structure. Rebuild your ministry. Rebuild your relationship with God. All these things need to come back in alignment because what God wants to do is ultimately bring his people back to them. And y'all know, you can see the church was out of hand. The church was out of control. It was so much wickedness in the church. It was embarrassing. So God had to step in and do some things and, and allow some things to happen. So now that that has taken place and now that he has aligned us back with him, it's time to rebuild those things that was torn down, some things that you know was not God, some things that you know did not honor God. So make sure in this rebuilding stage, you know, that we rebuild our altars in our home, that we, we seek God and ask him, okay, God, we can start fresh. We can start new. What are you calling me to do? What is my purpose? How do you want me to do this? And a lot of times we have ideas of what we think is right. And we don't even seek God to ask him, God, what is your idea of how I should do these things? So this next time around, in the rebuilding stage, make sure you ask God, God, what are you calling me to do? What is the purpose for this ministry? What is the purpose for this business? And just make sure we align what God is saying, you know, in this present time. You know, we, we say we're the people of God. So if we are, make sure we are reading our word. Make sure we are hearing from God. Make sure we are praying and make sure we are aligning, aligning Excuse me, every single thing that God has called us to do with his purpose and his will. Yes, it's going to be a lot of things that we don't like that God is asking us to do, but it's not about us. It's about his kingdom and it's about why he has called us and sent us to the earth to do those things. So we got to make sure in this time and in this season of our rebuilding, we do it God's way this time. Do it God's way. Whatever he's telling you to do, make sure you check with him. Fleece it if you have to. God, is this what you've calling me to do? Is this the purpose of my life? Is this the purpose of this ministry? Just make sure all in all that it is in line with what God is saying. Okay? 
So that's just a quick video today that I'm sharing with you that God is saying we're in a season of rebuilding. It's time to rebuild. We've come out of captivity. We've come out of repentance. We're in the book of Zechariah where he's saying, okay, it's time to rebuild. Rebuild those families. Rebuild your relationship with him. Rebuild these ministries and make sure we're doing what God has called us to do and make sure it's in alignment with what he's called us to do with his instructions from heaven. Okay, that's a quick video. I love you and I will continue to pray for you as you pray for me. Amen.